The goal this year is to streamline assignments in Google Classroom so students only have to really click one thing to submit the assignment. And one of the best ways to do this is to either use Google Docs or Google Forms. I prefer to use Google Forms because they allow you to do several things. You can include uh, attendance, you can include a video, you can include hyperlinks to other websites, and you can include questions for exit tickets and things like that so you can actually grade the students' responses. Um, if we go in and we look at one of the forms that I've done before, you can see that this Google form includes uh, what's your name, then there are questions to answer, links to information that we want the students to read and research. Um, there are also questions in here um, as well, and then there's the submit button so they can submit um, the document. So to do this, all you have to do is click create, click assignment, and then I would like to date my assignment, okay? And then instructions, I really like to keep it simple. Click the link. All the directions can be inside the assignment. Over here on the right, um, you can either choose points or ungraded if this is not a graded assignment. Uh, I would always put a due date in because the students see that on their, pl on their uh, platform for Google Classroom, so that's a good idea on their dashboard. Uh, topics are good for organizing uh, some of your assignments, but right now we don't really need to discuss that. So we need to create this Google form. And it's going to take it a minute to open up. It'll open up in a new tab. Let's see if it just bumped up. And the first thing I want to do is name this 9-7. I don't want to forget to do that. And then we're going to do attendance and Google. And then it will pre-populate it right here. The first question should be, what is your name? Now, you can have the kids type it in if you prefer, or you can do a drop-down box and then just copy and paste from Encore your list. You can actually paste it in and it'll make a new line for each one. So we're just going to do two kids. Okay. And then I want to include a video. Well, they have a little link over here for add video. So what I need to do is just put in the URL. So I'm going to just copy this YouTube video right here. Okay. And make sure that I click select. And that will appear in my Google form. So I'm going to say watch video and center it. Okay. Now on my next question, I'm just going to do a plus. And I'm going to be, I'm going to say, um, you know, read the info at the link. And you can actually put in here, let's see here, we're going to do check boxes. And option one is read this. And then all I'm going to do is just put in, let's say you wanted the kids to work on IXL, you could actually put the link into that there and once it's created it'll turn it into a hyperlink it's just not going to do it right now not until you can see it as completed and then after that it's ask a question so what tab do you use to see assignment in google Classroom? and then you could put it's multiple choice so we would just do people classwork string now, I want it to grade it for me. So you can do that. All you have to do is go back up, click on the wheel, that's always your settings, and then you have three tabs here, just make this into a quiz. That's all you have to do. Once it's a quiz, then you can go back to your question, see how we have an answer key at the bottom? Just click it, and then click on the correct answer. You can give feedback if you want to, but we're not gonna do that today. You just click done. So now it's finished. You don't really have a save button in Google Forms. It will put it in a particular folder um, in your uh, Google Drive. So make sure that you can figure out where it's at. You can move it, but they can be a little bit wonky and hard to find. But I do like this because it allows you to manage your class, see who's done what. When you're teaching, you can even go back in and let's make sure we click assign here. When you're teaching, then you can go in and you'll be able to see, if you click on the grades tab, there it is. So whoever's done the assignment, you can actually click on it and go look at the assignment from there as well. So it's really cool, a great way to organize your classroom. And 